Like I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I do love the vibes of this game. Good vibes, good vibes. Also, I apologise if I sound a little bit odd. I've got a cold at the moment, so... I don't sound like myself. Ba -da. Ba -da. What could possibly go wrong? As I mentioned last time, I don't like the fact that you can run because that implies being chased. This is a puzzle game. So I don't know if something just happened that I was meant to notice and I was too busy talking. I'm just gonna go straight for the front door. Right, let's break into this person's property. Absolutely no problem there. Ooh, there's more buildings. Just see if there's a door on the other side. I think what's not helping me is that I've got this ring light, but it's kind of shining on the screen. Yeah, let's see if we can get in to the left here. Must admit, the sound effects are really creepy, and I love that. No, let's not, let's not get distracted <laughs> straight off the bat. Left control to crouch. Why do I have to crouch? You know, I'd say this is breaking and entering, but this is very convenient, let's say. Can I uncrouch? Un uncrouch me. Peasant, let me uncrouch. I have missed you. Have you missed me? Ooh. I apologize so much for this inconvenient way of entering the house. But don't worry, it's all part of the evening's plans. It is basically to set the scene for what is to come. The display of the main art attraction is located in the sun room, just to the left as you leave this room. We'll get started as you get there. Again, welcome. It is an honor to have you here. Please, enjoy your stay. Oh, the door is unlocked. I told you it looked deliberate. I don't know where we're at. Boopy. Okay, there's some rules. It's like Gibbs from NCIS, but boopy. Okay, rule number one, don't go into the basement. Rule two, have fun and draw. That's what we're all about on this channel. Rule three, don't talk about your parents. Okay. Rule four, no food in bed. Rule five, wash your hands after using the bucket. Do we not have a real toilet? Or is the bucket something else? Rule six, no knocking. Too late. <laughs> Rule seven, mum and dad are bad people. Rule eight, they hated you, I don't. Be quiet, no screaming is rule 10. That's very uh, specific. Don't touch your clock. More like, don't touch things without permission. <laughs> God, I'm hilarious. We are nothing but fail to speak only when asked. You see, rule 16 doesn't really work on Twitch because um, it would be a very silent and uncomfortable stream, I think. Best man, we're gonna go in there at some point. This, this is it. Well, it's not complete. And that is the main reason why I invited you here. I want you to complete it, finish it, together with me. I've waited so long for this to happen, and it's so close now. Oh, so very close. It's simple. Five empty easels waiting to be used. I simply want you to find the right, astonishing, beautiful art pieces and put them back in the right order. The sad part is that you can't leave the property. I've got eyes in here. I promise you this will be fun. So please, be part of the creation. So we have five easels. There's a painting. It's a slow moving fan, but that fan's not on. Right, let's see if there's anything interesting around. Ooh. Be part of the creation. I need the paintings to be put back in order. This is the big art piece, a collection, the centerpiece of my creations and the reason why people should care. Monsters are among us and no imaginary ones either. No. People like me, my father, my mother are all around the world, spreading like pests and care nothing but filling a void inside themselves. We are real and no creature of fantasy or imagination can top the nightmares that we leave behind. This is my way of making sure people will open their eyes. People like me should not be able to roam free. 
if the safety nets actually worked, none of this would have been a thing. People would not have gone missing, people would not have suffered, people would not have perished for no other reason than being in the wrong place at the wrong time. So now I ask you to put together this collection in order and be aware of the red herring, be part of the creation. Cool. Ah, we have a journal. No notes. Oh, it's in a note, not a journal. Anything else for me to do in here? Ah, oh, hold on, it looks like they've all got descriptions. I don't think we need to read those till we've got the paintings. Hello, friend. That's very similar to my ink art style. Out we go. Locked. Oh, a key. Listen, you're allowed to leave the house. In fact, you're encouraged to. Be a good artist and explore this wonderful property. However, leaving the property will turn into your execution. We don't want that. I mean, fair enough. So we can unlock this now. Creepy. While photography isn't really an art form that I enjoy, there is still a fascinating area of photography history that I do give credit for. Post-mortem photography. The idea that you want to keep a memory of a loved one after its passing and make sure that the empty corpse looks as close to alive as possible is quite frankly compelling. <laughs> Physics. Hang the dead. Materials use string, tape, old photos of the dead. Very dark. So, but I love that jiggly physics of this little bush here. It's all like, oh, woo. okay. Be part of the vision. Because the Victorian era cameras took so long to develop each photo, the actors in the frame would have to stay still for a long duration of time. Because of this, it was usually very easy to spot the deceased person in a family photo. It would have perfect sharpness while the rest would be slightly blurry. Stand still in the right spot and your focus will become clear. You might want to come back here a little later. See the right angle through another lens. Shine some light on the problem at hand. Okay, well we don't have a light source. Let's try 666 because the devil is in the details. That didn't work. Why would it have been 666? That is ridiculous. Nothing we can do in here just yet. I'm going to sneeze whether you bitches like it or not. I changed my mind. Well, I don't like that flashy light. That means danger. I want to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that, back to business. The Carter family was just like any other family, a loving mother, a supporting father, and a cheerful child. However, these are only the observations from those on the outside looking at the facade of the crumbling house of a family. After the deed was done, the knife was dropped in front of the father's favorite reading spot. It rested on the floor, pointing towards the murderer as the child bled out on the floor. Home sweet home, materials used. Materials used, dollhouse and furniture, electrical wires, LED lamps, and magnets. Ooh, a reading spot, huh? The note doesn't really give you that much information. I wanted to read the note again. You can make some words out under that. Maybe we're meant to come back with that torch thing he mentioned. Well, that was just rude. Don't knock at me. <laughs> My chair, it is sinking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Calvin was a good kid. Great even. The first time I saw those eyes, I noticed that he was meant to be something more. More than just a vessel for my message, but a prophet. A sapling ready to grow a new family tree to spread its roots in this godforsaken world and rid of all the unfairness the system has caused us. When I noticed my visage, vision was but a mirage all i could see was red feel red smell red create red i made sure it was quick it was awfully sticky afterwards yeah we can make it in there should we venture towards the scary flashy light? I think we should. Love that. Very dark, very scary. Seems like a good time, really. Poem of two armies. Two armies lined up, ready to fire their arrows. One side painted their feathers in azurite, the others in blood. In honour, they took turns to fire each other to show who had the best archers. So the fight went back and forwards. The sons fell first, the fathers thereafter, and the last one standing was the old king. The final goodbye he mumbled as his legs gave away, a chest filled with blood-covered arrows. Okay, blue and red. I presume chess full of red. Say one eight seven two. I guess it could be seven two one eight. I totally totally used my brain on that. Those were footsteps. Okay, a key for the front door. Oh, Romana, look, it's a police box. Romana, look. Sorry, I know that Romana loves who are the doctor. 
the previous residents. Evicting the previous residents of this house was a tricky nut to crack. I had to make sure that they are all passed in a beautiful way. After days of planning, I only had a vague plan on what I had to do. It's important to me that they would never leave the property, after all. It is theirs and they should be part of it. The question is not when or by what means, about where. It's a clock. It only has one hand, so I think we need to find a second one. Okay, we need to remember that there's this peely paper. What does that mean? What does it mean? Well, I thought we'd get our little lamp thing, our torch in here. It's going to note out that bit. A little funky going down the stairs. It's all right. I respect the hustle. All right, we have a front door key, so I feel like we should try the front door. Call me crazy. Oh, hello. Look, we have friends. Of the house was undoubtedly the hardest and decent target for me. Hardest because I didn't know how I would react. And it's all right, Romana. Neither do I. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm just trying to complete tasks. Hydrate! Look, it has bees. He woke up, still in his bedroom, to the gracious touch of flame. If you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you get lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce. Oops. Or something I wish my own dad would have left me. But I don't know this. This guy, Cray Cray. Also, I hydrated Mother Charlotte. Calvin's mother, Charlotte, fought more than any of my victims ever did. She got some really good hits on me, and while I regretted a while that I didn't render her unconscious Raya, I got the sweet screams I craved so badly at times, right? Just like cupping at the water. This time, however, they were muffled. As I forced her head down into the bathtub, I promised her that I would take care of Calvin. I kept that promise for as long as I could. Ooh, this is Mumpha, by the look of it, considering booba. A key! Basement. A child. Gross. Hmm, just what I've always wanted. It is a very disturbing character. But you know, I prefer psychological horror to just like cheap jump scares. Let me in! Fine, be like that. Should we go to the basement or explore the rest of the property? Da -da -da -da. Basement! Terribly excited. Means we have to go back around the side. Hold on. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Did you like my song? I wrote it myself. Still happy to go into the basement with that amount of light in? Let's do it. Someone just blew out the candle! They're like, did someone have to blow the candle out? Black light instructions. This is an astonishing piece of invention. Using this light, you'll be able to see what our weak human eyes can't otherwise see. You need this in order to follow my trail. Just don't forget about it. It will absolutely be needed later on. Also, because of how old it is, it overheats very quickly. So just give it a quick break every now and again and it'll be fine. I have to collect so much more blood than I originally planned in order to get this to work. I also think I got carried away. You know what, let's just get out of here and then come back. Or not, they have locked the door on us. Okay, we have got... IX IV Hope you guys know your Roman numerals because your girl don't Ah, there's a hidden one in the corner VII and 2K 9, 4, 2 The only variation starting with 9 that we hadn't tried Or I must have tried it and just skipped through too quickly Okay, we're in Hacker voice I'm in That's what hackers sound like. The footsteps want us to go that way, so let's do it. Oh, there's a secret door. They are right. Right about what? Ooh, this is like a false... Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's keep following the feet. We got distracted. The mannequins are trying to tell me something. Some things are better off hidden away. Oh, 
poorly timed. Just check for anything clickable. Well, at least he uses eco technology. Maybe a murderer, but he's looking after the environment. Don't worry, I'm gonna follow the fee. I'm just checking we don't miss anything. But this game, I feel like every little thing is important. Oh, blood splatter. Ah, the bathtub. This must be where Mama Dearest was murdered. I thought he drowned her. Their noises keep me up at night. I was wondering if I could open the bin. Oh, a key. Kitchen key. What do they want from me? Stop following me. I feel like our psychopath might start started to go crazy a bit. Got cre crazier than a psychopath usually is. Oh, look, there's a red strip of wallpaper. Okay, I think that's it for in here. Let's leave. That sounded like a mannequin and I disapprove. Ah, you weren't there before. Boo, bitch. Oh, a freezer. Snack? Oh, I thought maybe once the door was shut, I could do something. Okay, let's explore down here some more. Locked. Not locked. I'm sure I'm probably doing this very much out of order. You were just unlucky. They were just unlucky. Does that mean I'm going to get murdered? I'd really appreciate it if I wasn't. That is a horrifying sound. Wow, what a beautiful painting. Wow. Bless me. Say it, bitches. Bless me. You can either fail hard or succeed completely. I mean, you could fail moderately or slightly. After my treatments, I make sure they all have a sweet tooth for cyanide. Get it? Because that means they're gonna die. <laughs> Anything to see. I just like being under a desk. What's this? Ooh. Right, we've got two plaques and the blueprint of something somewhere. How do I journal? Notes. Inventory. Blueprint. How do I look at you? F. Oh no. Okay, so that's the art display and in the kitchen there's a clock. Don't really know what that means. There's the bedroom, the photo room, and there's two more clocks in Calvin's room and the office. Oh, it looks like there's a fake wall in Calvin's room as well. Okay, interesting. How do I get out? Escape. I managed to catch a cold at the weekend, so I'm sorry for my snizzles. Snizzle by bizzle. Right, let's get out of here. Let's try this black light on that note by Calvin's room. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that made me jump. Or did it? Or did it just make you jump because you're a little bitch and I'm... I'm big and strong and I'm built different. Oh, thanks for opening the door for me. That was very kind of you. I feel a little bit like, whoo, we now have a key for this door. You better hurry. And then, I just want people to understand. Let's do the photos. It is all up to me. If I don't do it, then nobody will. Five, four. If it's three, two, I'm gonna scream. Five, four, seven, five, five, four, seven, five. Ah, shed key. Ooh, there's a shed to go to. Bro, why are you swinging like crazy? Ooh, this thing is coming from the kitchen. Right, remember, we were looking at the kitchen. It goes over there. Okay, well, I want to do this thing first. Anyone else hear those little running footsteps? Any Anyone else? Am I, am I going crazy? Am I the crazy one? You know what, let's brute force it. Let's try her by the bed. No. Oh! Whee! We brute forced it. Yes, baby! Disappointment. Calvin was a great kid. Creepy. I almost gave up on my vision and my creations when I first saw his reaction to this world falling. I could see myself in his eyes. That same fear. But alas, it didn't take long for me to realize that he didn't have me. He was broken, but not broken enough. Whatever it was, he didn't have it. I had to continue my work. Done. Rest in peace now, child. Got an itchy nose from cat fur. Your mother is here. Love that. Am I the drama? Honestly, a bro just said. Mm. 
You're not traumatised enough, so you die. Right, a load of blood where his throat was slit. To be fair, makes sense. You know what's all this blood? His eyes reminded me of myself, so I made it quick and painless. Very kind of himself. Almost humane, one would say. Oh, it's like a face. That's kind of cool, but creepy. Can I climb this? I want to climb it. I want to climb. Okay, see, this looks like it can be moved. Ah, yes. Okay, we need a screwdriver. Okay, the Carter family story. Oh, we've already read that. That was the same as the note in front of the puzzle that we just brute forced. Right, we got a shed key, didn't we? Should we go attempt a shed? Or do we do this light thing? If you felt let's check these rooms with this light. It was not fair to me or my mother. It were not fair. I'm one of the seven seals. Come and see. Bro really said Looney Tunes. Oh, I feel like it wants us to do that light puzzle now. I'm lost. I ran into a wall. Let's do that again. Got lost and confused and I forgot how to turn the other flashlight back on. Oh, I got stuck. Idea what that just did. I just need an audience. They dumped a filthy corpse in the tunnels. And then that's her drowning. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't know why mother was crying. I took care of our problems. Mother did not understand, so I took care of her as well. Bro, a bit fucked up in the head. I feel like we need to come back here. Ooh. Aha! Bro's shadow having a little dance. Stuck in the corner. Bye, friend. Not a fan of that sound. Check, there's nothing new in here. Bloated corpses are disgusting. She was disgusting from the start. Just like the various instruments in an orchestra, the brush is one of many elements that create a beautiful melody. Stop giving me audio cues. I make sure every stroke matters. Importance. A beginning and an end. Just the what, like the work as a whole. God, I had a stroke reading that. Love that sound. I remember being a child and having my own little hideaway. Anything to get away from him. His fat, disgusting body was body. too much for him to bother chasing me in there. It didn't matter that I went without food for a few days. Anything was better than the constant beating and forced work on various art projects. Nothing could ever be good enough. I K. God, I really should have a notepad in here. I do somewhere, but I'm not getting up to get it. All right, one K. C five B seven H one. Different puzzle, I'm guessing. Can I click on this. I can. Two I T C K. It's ah, another cool thing. Coolio. Three H E. Okay, those don't make any sense. Oh, it could be kitchen. What is kitchen? Ah, the kitchen is at midnight. Okay, kitchen clock midnight. I'll make a note of that. A 
sound design is so good in this game. It's just spooky. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay, kitchen clock is. I've spelt kitchen wrong, but that's fine. I'm just guessing she's a triangle, by the way. Absolute guess is this. Find another triangle. Ah, okay. I think I've. I think the kid is meant to be the triangle with two lines to be like, look, I have two triangles in me. His mommy and daddy are triangles and that makes two. Downward for mum. Kid we want as double. That one. I mean, this is probably completely wrong, but I'm having a good time. What a guess. I presume she was the downward because that was like more subservient and it seemed like the dad was abusive. This. Are you ready? There's gonna be a jump scare. I bet you. Bet you. Bam. Hi, friends. We have a fuse and a shed key. Let's try and find the shed. Right, let's look for a shed. There was another building around this way, wasn't there? Yeah, there's one over there. Let's try that. Shed. What's in the shed, kiddos? Let's go right first. Okay. Fair enough. Many hours spent in here making new friends. My biggest pain is being alone, so I create my own friends. Too bad they can't speak. They probably have great thoughts to share. Crowbar. Oh, what's this? Oh, we've already found the triangle. Okay, we were meant to come here before we did that, I'm guessing. Yep. I don't believe in doing things in the correct order. It's hard to tell what the correct order is. Okay, so we have... We now have a fuse, a crowbar. We need a screw driver. We haven't yet found anything that you can use a crowbar with. Let's have a look around the rest of the property, see if there's maybe another building. Oh yeah, there's another building over there. Okay. So it doesn't seem like there's any black light stuff out here. Let's see what this building is. I might need a key for it. I'm in. Crowbar! Oh, something to use the crowbar with, I meant. Shut up. Edgy nose. What's the issue with long-haired cats? It's all up in your nose. Oh, I see a note. Dear Birch Excavations, fuck you and your lie filled quote for that kind of job. This land is mainly granite and various rocks. I've done some digging myself and I sure as hell didn't see any water. Gonna kindly decline your shit offer. Do this job myself for one tenth of the price. Hi, right, Karen. Excavation quote. After examination of your dirt cellar, an excavation of the area would be a challenging job, but it would also be reflected in the pricing. Seeing as most of the area around your property is an old swamp area, the risk of water flooding during the work will require many pumps, depending on when the work will be done during the year we will also have to make proper precautions regarding humidity within the tunnels for our workers safety estimated price 245 to 300 dollars that doesn't seem much for all that work more exact number can be estimated when we meet in person to talk more specific thanks for thinking about choosing us cool that seems like it's got to be relevant at some point right any black light stuff and then we can go crowbar this joint anything in here anything i've learned is that this game is sneaky as all hell let's see if i can use the crowbar on the door, just on this door. I'm kind of spooked. I am the result of a problem. I don't have the solution, but I might point someone in the right direction. Ooh, game saved. We're in the middle of something. The art of sculpturing. This was absolutely the hardest kind of art form to get right. I tried various materials, marble, cloth, concrete, but nothing really fit what I was going for. Then it dawned on me. The purest form, the human body. This took a bit of time to get right. Countless of kind, unwilling donators had to be used before I got the formula down. Rigor mortis sure was a tricky nut to crack, sometimes literally. <laughs> but after dozens of hours reading into biology and chemistry, here we are. And it is almost perfect. Please, just finish it for me. Love that. Mm, it's like a clock. I just presume they all need to be like... Oh, they move with each other. Fucking assholes. 
Oh, well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, there was a note on the floor. Uh, disgusted at what happened to their friend, they all turned away to not witness the horrendous scene. But as time went by, they all knew that they had to face the truth without using any words they could still tell us where and when. Okay. That wasn't a helpful hint anyway. A painting. Thank you. I'm confused as to where we need to go next. Maybe there's yet another building. Tia was used. Four corpses. No biggie. It's normal. No questions asked. We still need a screwdriver. And I think we need another clock hand. We only have one, right? And there's three clocks, according to the... Yeah, that's it. We only have one. Okay. Let's have another look at the property. I feel like we're discovering things. Okay, that was our way in before. Ooh. Ah, this is what the excavation thing was about. Ooh, fuse. Okay, we have a fuse. We have one of those. Cute. That was spooky. Hmm. That's not concerning. Well, the guys are right. It flooded. Ooh. 